It's your girl, Miss Motivational Mogul Mindset, Ava Sheree, the Inspire, and I came today to do a Food for Your Soul vlog. You'll notice I might upload a little bit more because I'm going to be gone literally almost a whole month of September. Um, so I'll be here a little bit, but I'll be doing a lot of other things. So this Food for Your Soul vlog, um, I did not do the quote because it's a topic about, and I had a discussion, a deep discussion about it about two days ago. Can you ask yourself? Are you emotionally insecure? Okay, so yeah, what is it? Um, so it's a grown-up question. Um, and it's something that some of us may or may not want to answer publicly. Um, and you don't have to. But when you want to check where your feelings of a relationship or feelings about a situation in any situation, work or otherwise, you want to figure out immediately where that emotion is coming from. And then once you target that emotion, how you feel, good emotions or bad, well, let's, in this case, we're talking about something that makes you feel insecure. Dig the root up about it. What was violated in your life about that? And if it was something in your past, what's unhealed? What's still a current wound in your life that makes you emotionally insecure? Um, because I was speaking to someone and they were like, I know you're, you've never been an insecure person. What made this topic so um, piercing to me to reflect on myself is when I've been violated, when my trust has been violated, when I've been hurt or a family member's been hurt, I'm emotionally insecure to those types of situations. So I respond to those types of situations a certain kind of way, right? And it's because of the brokenness from the emotional fracture that was first done that way. So I don't have a problem powering myself or suggesting that I may be emotionally insecure and there may be some things I need to tweak and tend to and realize that because my emotions was messed with. Um, whew, I was going to say something else. Um, but my emotions, you play with my emotions. Your job play with your check. They playing with your emotions. Um, somebody's playing with your money, your 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 food, your your children, your anything, your credit. It don't matter. Um if somebody's playing with your emotions from that pinpoint, from that moment, anything that looks like that, anything that resembles that, anything that has come about that has been proven, you are emotionally insecure. But what we don't have to do is live in that insecurity. What we don't have to do is think that it's always going to happen. What we can do, what we can say is acknowledge the takeaway in the fact that it even exists. That's where we gain our power to be like, if I know that happened that way, what am I going to do at the onset? What am I? What is my strategy before when I start to feel this insecure anxiety? What am I going to do before it becomes another added layer of emotional insecurity? So for instance, Money. We all like money. Let's let's talk about, let's keep it on money. If I'm doing business with you and the contracts are set, the prices are set, and you still send me short what we agreed to, what we signed off to, of course, is always in writing with me. And say we have a good relationship and I kind of don't know how to approach you with the same thing that you're choosing to do. I'm hoping that your heart is not deliberately doing this. The act of this is just, you know, I forget. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh man, Avis, I know I did it the first time, but now you make an excuse that you're going back in your um, ledger and it's the same amount that you keep sending me because you thought that's what I said, right? But you know, that's not what I said because you chose not to actively listen to what we agreed to, what you agreed to. So now you're playing with my emotions and now my emotions are high about it and I'm pissed about it and I'm offended about it. And so I got to choose at that moment to be defensive or offensive. So my choice is to be offensive and say, when you decide to short me, I'm going to send your money back and not do business with you. 
because I'm not going to become defensive and become emotionally insecure about doing business with you or anybody because I can't vocalize what my displeasure is in you. Lamest terms, never get to a point where you can't state what your worth is, what your value is, what you put your worth and value in, what you put your time in. Never get too emotionally insecure where you feel like all this other stuff is going to erupt because you can't state the facts of what this is. Because that is adding layers to you, layers to your emotional instability and insecurity. Doesn't make you an insecure person. It makes you tread lightly on eggshells, makes you nervous, makes you anxious to approach this issue. So if you find yourself emotionally insecure, it's okay because it's probably something that really happened, but you haven't quite dealt with how to go back and get over it correctly. Not push it to the side, not sweep it under the rug. Address it gently with kindness and respect. And if someone still continues to try to emotionally mishandle you, you sever your ties. If not, you're agreeing to stay in a situation that makes you imbalanced, unstable, emotionally insecure in your ways. And if that doesn't fit you, if that's not who you represent, if that's not in your fiber, if that's never been your issue, look at who you have in your surroundings that's doing it. Reposition their access to you. Close doors. Disassociate. Detach. Remove yourself. And see don't your emotional security grow by leaps and bounds. All right? So, hope you understood this message. I think acknowledging emotional insecurity um, goes to really healing yourself and understanding that a topic, something from the past, something that bona fide happened, how you respond to it now is emotionally insecure. How you think um, something's going to automatically end up because of that emotional insecurities from your past, it all adds to your insecurity. And what we're not doing around these parts of town on Ava Cherie's streets is living insecure about anything because we could say what's mine is mine and what's for me is for me but you can't claim that with no insecurities all right because you're gonna always in the back of your head think that somebody could take something from you you're gonna always operate with a hardened heart or bitterness that by chance they could be taken away from me no Get rid of that emotional insecurity and walk boldly in your authority and your confidence of for real for real healing giving back the insecurities to where they belong, closing access to who doesn't and what doesn't belong in your life, all right? All right, this is your girl, Miss Motivation, I'm Mindset, Ava Sheree, the in spam. All right, so what to get on your nerves, I don't care, bye. <laughs> Talk to you guys soon. Guys, love and God's peace to you all.